What's up, everybody? Welcome back to day number 19 of the Squad Builder Showdown Advent Calendar. It is six days until Christmas. We are getting ever, ever, ever closer. And today we are bringing you another f freeze player. It is Bernardo Silva, and we are bringing you another new guest. It is Mr. Oaklefish. How are you doing, Oakley? Doing well, mate. Doing well. Um, should be a lot of fun. I haven't actually managed to try this guy out, guy out yet. Um, I think. A lot of people have always wanted, well not always, but felt that Bernardo Silver at Cam would be so much, but he's wasted basically at right wing. He um, is. So it should be a lot of fun using him. At central yeah, attack he looks him. very, very, very good. 93 agility, 91 balance. Just very good stats all round, to be honest with you. And yeah, I think you are right. Like I did it in the past where I started like a 4-3-3 and then played him Cam and the left winger striker. It worked pretty well. He's a very good player. He's a very, very good player, and I'm very excited to try this out. 600,000 smackaroons we've got on the line today, as well for you guys in some Scrub of the Showdown. And I hope you guys are enjoying this series. The one with Sway went up yesterday, in like in real life for me when I'm recording this. And it was 50 minutes long, and there were some very funny comments on it. And then we had the one with Jack, which was... I haven't edited it yet, but that's probably going to be about 20 minutes long, so... Who knows where we'll end up, Oakley? Wait, are you feeling chatty, mate? Or are you feeling smash through it? <laughs> Get the players in. Lose, um, move on with your life. Let's just let's see let's see how the first let's see how the formations go first, buddy. Okay, give you a better okay. answer at that, shall we? Sure. Do you want to tell me your formation then? Um, I feel like this could be really really obvious, but I'm going to try the four three three four. You can have it, mate. It was pretty. It's kind of obvious, but there's there's quite a lot of good formations with cams in. You can have Apple four two three one. Very nice. I'm going to go. I'm gonna go a bit Jack 54, and I'm gonna play 4411, and I'm gonna play him centre forward. 4411. Okay, very nice. You yeah. can also have it. Okay. So then I've got a striker left mid, right mid, and you've got a striker left wing, right wing. So that makes it very, very, very easy. Should you get into it? Let's do it, mate. Let's go. What's up, everybody? This is just your semi-regular reminder about the official partner of Squabble the Show, which is, of course, the best football app in the world, FOTMOB. If you haven't already got it, go and get it. The link is always down in the description, and it is the perfect app for keeping track of all of the Christmas craziness. Like, you can see today when I'm recording this insert, the Everton versus Arsenal game kicks off in about 40 minutes, but there is so much football over Christmas tomorrow, there is four games. That's just in the Prem. There's games on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Then it's Christmas. And it just keeps going on and on and on over Boxing Day. So if you want to keep track of all of that, you want to see what games are on what TV channel and all of that stuff, go and get FOTMOB. Link is down in the description. I couldn't recommend it enough. Thank you to all you guys for the support in this video. And of course, thank you to FOTMOB, the official partner of Squad Builder Showdown. Into the first play as we go then, Oakley. How are you feeling, mate? Chatty? Not so chatty? Yeah, I'm feeling chatty enough. If you've chatty got, enough? If, okay. Chatty enough. Feeling chatty enough. pretty good about getting your formation? I am feeling... I mean, the last time we played, I think you gave me the three... You, you, three, you one, guessed four, my formation. Two, you gave me something yeah. horrible, yeah. Wasn't pleasant. We've had, actually, an outrageous amount of formations guessed in the advent calendar. I can't really put my finger on why. I guess maybe if you're doing them so frequently, like more so than usual... Perhaps you kind of see where people tend to go. I don't know. Maybe, maybe who knows? Maybe you just. Maybe I think what it might be. Guessing. My guess was that because it's the advent calendar, people show up for the occasion. I guess try a bit harder to get a sick team. So then yeah. they use the more regular format. I say using four four one one. But like people are more likely to use their favorite formation because they want to do well, sure. and then it gets guessed. But anyway, that was just an interesting tidbit. I would like, so we did, we're talking about this. I really need to get somebody to do it. It'd be super interesting. Like the stats of Squabble the Showdown, which position is the most guessed and stuff like that. It'd be really, yeah, really that'd interesting. be interesting. However, we are just doing the striker left mid, right mid, left wing, right wing. So are they going to be most guessed, hopefully? Would you like to go first or would you like to go second? I'll go first, mate. Ooh, go on. I am going to go for Immobile or Immobile at striker. I have actually got him. I don't know why it's saying I don't. It does love to put a concept in for a play you've already yeah, got, and then you buy them off the market, weird. and then you've got two. It's really good. <clears throat> so I'm going to go with him. I'm going to go with his teammate, uh, Hyperlink, um, which is a right mid, I think. Is it... If I'm not... Lazari? Oh, that, could be, that could be, yeah, Lazari. I'm pretty sure he's got 
a special Yeah, he's got a rule breakers. Yeah, there you go. So Lazari. And on the left, I will go with Insigne. Inform Insigne. That is... That is... Jazzy is what that is, Oakley. She, so when I was saying to you, Oakley, come on, hurry up, and you're like, oh, I've just, I've just got stuff to sort. You ain't sorting stuff out. You were sitting there was. You, on you can see, you can the sweatiest, stinkiest, unguessablest squad you could possibly come up with. <laughs> all right, straight in, absolutely mental. You can have them all, mate. Thank you very much. Who did you put down for me? Jao Felix. Yeah. Podence. Yeah. And Rafinha. Okay, very nice. That's outrageous. I've been hustled, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm so... Guys, I'm so busy. I've just got so much stuff to sort out. He wasn't. He's been on foothead and rewatching. I, have, I honestly show. haven't. Normally, I would I would have done, but this is a last-minute thing. Right. Do you want to know what I want? I'm going to take this squad of the show and up a level, Oakley Fish. Okay. Rule Breakers, Harry Kane. Okay. Very nice. That is outrageous. I've been wanting to try him for a while. I've always been bottling it. As it gets closest to Christmas, I'm just thinking, do you know what? Treat yourself. Is he still really expensive? 1.3 mil. Really? He hasn't dropped yeah. at all. Yeah. Damn, okay. It's kind of scary. I'm going to go left mid, and they strong linked him in Sun. Mm -hmm. Just the normal one. Not the player month. I've not made the coins. And on the right hand side, I don't really know. I should probably just stick Prem, shouldn't I? Because, I mean, you've got a bit mental. You don't. Ooh, that's, a, that's actually not a bad card. But again, suited more to being a cam is Zayek. Just like Bernardo. You need strong links to your Bernardo Silva, and I don't know what you're doing, Oakley Fish. I've got this guy chilling in my club, actually. We did him for Curtis's scroll show. I have Pepe. Okay, very nice. You can have all three. Very nice. Okay, who did you put? Martinez, Ronaldo, and Diego or Diogo Jota. I was so close to going Jota, you know? Yeah, I thought so, that so maybe it was, it, was, it was a good one to put down. I didn't want you to have Ronaldo, um, but you've got Harry Kane, which is probably... Worse. The English Ronaldo. Um, Do you reckon that's... Nah, it's not worse. Nah. Potentially. Potentially. I mean, if he's still... if he's, There's a reason he's still 1.3 million. I guess. But I think I'd still rather have Ronaldo. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is, mate. It is what it is. Um, and yeah. And did you say you had you put Pepe in, yeah? Pepe. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Very nice. Get him in whilst you still get Prem links, you know? That's it, mate. That's it. Exactly. FIFA 22. <laughs> Be building championship hybrids. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this uh, next pick, mate. It's going to be... Gonna be Yours a is one. very jazzy. I'm not really sure what you're doing, mate. Should we get into it? Let's get into it. Let's go. Here we go, then, Oakley. To the midfield. And I've got a bone to pick with, mate. Mm -hmm. Where's your Christmas jumper? Well, I wasn't I wasn't prepared, mate. I don't actually have Christmas jumper. I've got Christmas... I'll tell you what. If you have a quick cut, I can go put something on that you might like. Go on. Here he comes. So what I thought I was going to have for you is a, uh, so every year, every year my uh, my dear mother gets us some Christmas pyjamas. This nice. Year, polar bears. However, it would appear that one of my, uh, somebody has stolen them. So basically I'm wearing the trousers as a kind of shoulder garment currently. But there's polar bears present. Okay. <laughs> well, there we go. I've got my Everton Christmas jumper on. Very nice. Yeah. Do you want me to tell you my players, hopefully, since that you went first last time? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go for a sneaky selection. Hope... F it's a bit bait, but if I get away with it, it's very good. I'm going to go inform party for a strong link to Pepe. Yeah. And I'm going to go Bruno Fernandez for a strong link to... Silver, and then everyone's on four Kemp. Nice, very nice. You can can I? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very nice indeed, mate. Um, yeah. Well, you know that I need some strong links now, obviously. Mhm. Mm um, I could either go City. A bit of KDB would be nice. Could even go Rodri, potentially Gundogan, someone like that. Bruno Fernandes is the one that I probably would lean to. However, first of all, I'm going to go for my left-sided centre mid. I'm going to go for 
think I'm going to go for a bit of Balak. I think I fancy a little bit of Balak. I don't think you'll have put him in. And then as for the other centre mid, I think... Would you have picked him and written him down? Probably. Potentially. I'll go, I'll go Bruno Fernandes as well. Oh, that's nice. I put Rui Costa. And thinking Bruno you Fernandes. get the strong link and the icon link. And Figo. Oh, you put Figo. I guess okay, two icons, nice. mate. So you can have both of them. Very nice. Very nice. Got away this with is... that there. Potentially faffed about a little bit more than I had to. But... Oh, yeah. 100%. Like, I, was, I guess, to be fair, the Bruno Fernandes on his kind of bait. But... Yeah. The Balak was always yours. I yeah, the Balak thought you'd put the strong link at left. Uh, I don't know. That's, that's a tough one. With your perfect link to Lazari, it was so hard to uh, guess what you're going to do. There's so many different options to do. She's been sneaky, sure. ugly. I simultaneously hate it, but also respect it. Yes, indeed. Should we get into the fullbacks? <laughs> yes, let's. Let's. A bear walks into a bar. I don't know if I've done this one actually already in the Aven counter. I can only apologise if I have. I'm losing the plot with them, and I'm running out of them rapidly from all the different websites that I've got on. Anyway, a bear walks into a bar and says, Can I have a whiskey and... Coke? And the bartender says, Why the big paws? And the bear goes, Not sure, I was born with them. I saw that one coming. Has to be said, I saw that one coming. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good one. I like it. I am rapidly running out, though. We have got, like, a few more of these episodes to go, plus other people's channels if they want them, and I've just I've got nothing left. Have you done, like, all the cracker jokes, I'm guessing, already? After, yeah, all the do you, do you sometimes re, Do you sometimes, like, repeat them? I try not to. Way. I've tried to never reuse one across all of the Devon calendars, so none but, of the jokes really have been crackery sure. this year. Well, then you're going to write... So there's only a fine, finite amount of cracker jokes... I can't even think of one on the top of my head, to be totally honest with you. I, mean, I was going to put you on the spot, but whenever classic. someone says, tell me a joke, I can never remember one. Yeah, no, it's impossible. I've got a website with loads of them. Some of them are terrible, like too terrible for me to even use, and some of them have, and the rest of them I've used. So we are running out. How do you drown a hipster? I don't know. How do you drown a hipster? Throw them in the mainstream. Damn. That's a... <laughs> that one's pretty, pretty dark for Christmas. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Should pick some plays, mate. Let's. Your turn to go first. We did Christmas riddles last year, actually, didn't we? That was pretty fun. Oh, I wouldn't mind a. Do you want to give me a riddle while I? You want a Christmas me? riddle? Yeah, I wouldn't mind a riddle last time. Uh, did, there's a riddle. That's kind. Of, it's kind of a riddle. It's on this website. I used it for a Harry Hesketh. Harry not hashtag. How many times can you subtract ten from a hundred? Harry thinks of himself a bit of a smart ass, and he couldn't work it out. How many times can you subtract ten from one hundred? Mm-hmm. 10 out of 100. I'm trying to think if there's like, if I'm being really silly here and you like, you can't actually even do it once. 10. <laughs> but I'm just trying to think of the wording of how you actually worded it. Okay. Whilst you're doing, whilst we're figuring that one out, um, it is me to go first. I've got quite a lot to pick from here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping to go for the one that you absolutely would probably never have put in, which is Diogo Dalot. I'm hoping he's still in the game. Right back. You, left right back. Tackle. Yeah, left back. I'm going to go with Mario Rui. So you've got two absolute stinkers, mate. Dallo oh, and whichever player I pick for your left back. Yeah, you got Mario Rui, yeah? I have got Mario Rui. Um, nine? I'm just trying to think. Ten, ten, ten out of 100. Ten from 100. You could do it... What, what's, the, what's the answer have to end up being? Being zero? Could you go into like negatives? <laughs> it's just a weird one. It's not very Christmassy either. Well, no, it wasn't Christmassy. Off the non Christmassy website. I'm getting you a Christmas riddle now. Give me a What's sec. the answer to that then? The answer is once. Once. Because after you've done it once, then it'd be 90. 90. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. That makes sense. I'm trying to find you a Christmas riddle locally, but apparently this riddle website thinks that trivia questions are riddles, which they definitely aren't. Like, in Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, what was the first name of Scrooge? That's not a riddle. That's just a question. Neb Ebenezer? No. Ebenezer. Ebenezer. Yeah. Abracadabra. Ebenezer. Alakaz yeah, it was Ebenezer. 
That's not a riddle though, that's just a question. I like I like questions. You like questions? Well I like questions. Here's a question for you, mate. Who would you like a left back? Or spina will do, I guess. You want a spina? You're making me use my trump card. You give me a bronze if you'd like. Nah, you can have a spina. Treat yourself. I'll be nice. This, these are riddles. This is just trivia. Which department store was in Miracle of 34th Street? Yeah. Is it Was that Tiffany's or Macy's? Macy's. I don't actually know. I've never, never seen the film, to be honest. Macy's. Tiffany's is the jeweler, innit? You still get a Tiffany... There's still a Tiffany store, though, in New York, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. It's massive. It's crazy. Yeah, it's huge. In Home it's Alone, where are the McAllisters going on vacation when they leave Kevin? First trip? Yeah. Paris. No. Second trip's to Paris. First trip, they go to see their... They go to somewhere warm, Florida. Nope, you got them the wrong way around. Oh, bugger. Paris and then Florida. Sugar. Yeah. I love those films, man. They are very good. I watched Off for Christmas. That's been my favourite one this year, though. Maybe just because I've seen Home Alone so many times. Off for Christmas um, has been my favourite. Die Hard, so probably, far. I think Die Hard might be my favourite ever. I still haven't seen it. It's really upsetting. Can you tell me some players? I can't. Looking I can't. at Sospina is making me feel a bit oh, sick. Oh, hey, you know, I've made this one up myself. Why can't Santa deliver the presents this year? Covid. <laughs> <laughs> Social <laughs> Rudolph, distancing. Rudolph, Rudolph, Rudolph got Covid-19. Shouldn't laugh. Because Slavin Bilic has got the sack. That's quite a good one. I, I, feel quite bad for, I feel quite bad for Slavan. I mean, West, West Brom are just a bit stinky, aren't they? But I mean, like, he got a result. He got a point out of City. He just got a result City. against City. I he think what must have happened... City. Yeah. What must have happened is after they lost to Palace and Newcastle, they must have already, like, put into they action the process. Yeah. And the fact yeah. that he got the result of City doesn't make any difference now because they've already signed up the next manager and yeah. started going through the motions of sacking him. Just a bit deep in it. Of course, the sad truth of it is that Arsenal now can't get Big Sam. <laughs> yeah, so you're getting relegated instead. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go into a bidding war for Big Sam. Oh, funny. We haven't chatted that much. What is an interesting tidbit? Did you know, back in the day, do you know how Big Sam is kind of a bit of a, a bit of a meme these days, I guess, with his long ball hoof park the bus football and just playing for nil-nils or a one-nil win and stuff like that? He's, he's seen as a bit of a dinosaur in the footballing world and you've got like Pep playing Tiki Taka and Klopp with his pressing and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Big Sam, back in the day. Like, it must have been like 10, 15, 20 years ago now. He was one of the revolutionaries and like paving the way for statistics in football. Oh, really? Yeah. That's so interesting. Big Sam actually, in... would actually managed my uncle as well. That's another fun fact for you. That's an interesting fact. Where was that? Yeah. I think it was Preston. I want to. Let me. Can I? Can I I'm going to type. I don't want to ruin the audio, but let me. Show yeah, go for it. That's interesting. That doing it. So like, we think now of Big Sam as like a dinosaur from like a bygone era of football, but back then, he was the one revolutionising football because all of the other managers are like, our fellas being like, I don't need statistics to tell me if a player's good. I've got eyes and all stuff like this, and mm. like football's a results business. If he's not winning, he's not playing, and all this stuff. Whereas Big Sam was like the person who started to like actually look at the stats and bring them in and have like bring in data analysis to the club and stuff like that and really start looking at it. I thought that was really interesting. Now like every that club in the world has got like a whole department for data and expected goals and all yeah, this Preston sort of stuff. Yeah, Preston North End. Nice. That's, That's pretty was. cool. Yeah. When was that? That was a while ago then. Wait, hold on. Season to coach at Preston. Yeah, it was 90s, early 90s. But I was... I was I don't think I was even born. That's pretty cool. Hmm. That's pretty cool. But yeah. The expected goals thing's funny, isn't it? Because football purists and old people hate it. Yeah, for sure. But it's an interesting stat. But yeah, Big Sam was one of the pioneers of bringing that sort of stuff into football, which I thought was crazy because of how everyone perceives him now. I but anyway, like Big Sam. I think he's quite funny. I respect what he does in terms of keeping clubs up and stuff. I have never been more bored watching an Everton match than when Big Sam was our manager, though. I like the fact that he went to the pub to watch the football with, like, a pie and chips. Just sits in the harvester, has a pie chips, a little side salad, gets on with his day. Has a has a pint of John Smith's and then goes, goes off on his business. I like that. Fair. Fair. 
Right, I'm going to go Maldini at left back, Oakley. So I've got him in my club and I can't decide what to do. And I'm, I'm literally just looking at what's in my club. On the right-hand side, I'll have... I really want to go for this Ansaldi, but it's going to be very difficult to link the new right-back Ansaldi from these for freeze things. Mm -hmm. It just seems like a bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. Right, a strong link to Pepe would be this Bellerin, but I feel like you've probably written that down because it's just a bit bait. I'm going to go Jesus Navas. <sighs> Did you put Bellerin? I put Jesus Navas, buddy. No, you didn't. <laughs> I did. No, I you did. didn't. No, did. you didn't, Oakley. I did, so you got you Maldini. Didn't. And whoever I choose to put for you on the right back. <laughs> what? Who's going to be Matt bloody Macy, mate. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Get him in there. And make what? it... What? Is the, what's the saying? What do you always say to me? Make it quick. <laughs> I am oh. flabbergasted. <laughs> I knew you were going to try to get over to La Liga, buddy. Could sense it. I am shooketh. Let's move on to the centre backs and goalie. Let's do it. Here we go then, the final positions. And you were a bit mental, Oakley, and gave me Macy. Which gives me a strong link. It's very much appreciated. So I don't need to get a strong link to Jesus Navas anymore. I think it's my turn to go first, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Now, initially, my brain goes, pick Chris Small and Andy. Pick Chris Small. But you've probably written down Chris Small, so I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is try out some players that I've been wanting to try for a while. Well, one player that I've been wanting to try for a while and one new one that's just come out. So I'm going to go for team of the group stage, Diego Carlos. I'm going to go for foot freeze, Casemiro, who's now a centre back. And I'm going to go in goal for a strong link to Casemiro, Neto. Why did I use my goddamn trump card? Diego Carlos is coming straight off that list, buddy boy. And it's very frustrating because Casemiro was on my board and I rubbed it out for Varane. I went no! with the French version from Real Madrid. Wait, did you so put Courtois then? No, I didn't. I put the Reese just in case I was Ooh, wrong and ble okay. completely and you went Premier okay. League. Oh, was, if I really want to try him, Oakley, you listen to me. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, fine. Fine. Um, so we'll sort your bronze centre-back out shortly. Um, Mate, this has gone so badly. Actually, I've got two defenders and I've got Harry Kane's 1.3 mil extra on top of all the other stuff. Hey, 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 bro. Remember who you're playing against? Don't, don't freak out too much just yet, all right? I'm wearing a flipping polar bear robe, mate, all right? <laughs> I'm wearing trousers around my neck, okay? I don't think you're in too much uh, of a pickle just yet. Myself, I'm going to go with Klosterman. I'm also then going to go with Inform, I can't pronounce his name, uh, Yudokai? Yudokai? Yeah, Yudokai. And in net, I will go for a little bit of Trap. Oh my god, you've got the you've got the Man United version of Diego Dallo. Yeah, I have, yeah. Well, this has gone incredibly bad for me because I wrote down all of my guesses based on you having the actual like current version of him. Oh shoot, so I could have gone for like a really I could have gone for a, a very powerful trio then. I put a Portuguese player because I thought your Fernandes and Dallo still both needed link and you had AC Dallo because of the Lazari yes. link. No, no, no. Oh, this has gone so badly. Okay, okay. Okay. Bronze centre back, please, Oakley Fish. Yeah, dude, I mean I might take a little I might take a little bit of time for this one because I do need to make sure that it is as bad as physically possible, dude. This has to be absolutely terrible. Okay, we've got one potential guy, one potential here from Abkar. He looks quite, quite promising. Yeah, you can take Abkar, mate. I think. Abkar with his fifty-one pace. Yeah, you can have him. Cheers, mate. You're welcome. I've gone from incredibly confident because I'm playing FIFA against Stokely to oh my god, I'm about to lose Harry Kane. <laughs> oh no. You've got you've got a very congested midfield. I, I don't know if, how much trouble you're going to be in for me to get through to that. 
Mate, this is actually ropes. I was feeling so good. I was feeling so good. Uh, okay, 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 okay. We just need to bully our spina. We just need to bully our spina. Hmm. Let's get into the game. Right, here we go. If ever there was a time for Oakley to get his first Scobbler Shot and win, please don't make it now. Not if this Harry Kane. Oh, oh go on, my son. Get on side, Harold. Oh, wow. Oh, what a save! Oh, it's 1.3 million coins of Harry Kane. Couldn't poke that home. No, not like this. Come on, Abcar. Come on, Abcar. Run, Abcar! <laughs> Finish. Oh, wow. How did he get to that before I did? Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know if he How did. I think he might have kicked that? it at him. Come on, Harold. Come on, Harold. He's got so much pace. Oh, my God. He's actually going to get there as well. He's got 91 he pace. Got it's real yeah, breakers, Harry got Kane. There. That is outrageous. Half time, then. I mean, you definitely should have scored, but I've definitely had a lot more chances. So... I don't really know what to make of it, to be honest with you. I'm not impressed with Balak at all. I'm really not impressed with him. He's so slow. Uh, but with that said also, a Mobley doesn't feel... I don't know. I'm just not, Mobley's not a bit really of a truck as well. It. His shooting's mental. I don't know how he didn't score with him. But then I have had quite a few chances I thought I was going to score as well, so... Put that through. Come on. Oh, what an absolute screamer from Lazari. Outside the foot. Fair the enough. Outside what a finish, but... Smart, How have we not managed to do the same thing with all of our chances? There's a Harry Kane on the line! Oh, no! Wow. Justifiable, I guess. Holy moly. How is it took to the 90th minute for one to go in? That is peak FIFA. What's a Duakai doing as well? Just playing him on side like that. Wow, yeah, well that was done, stress. Mate. That was stress. Well Bruno Fernandes. He wants to have a word of himself. And Harry Kane as well, to be honest with you. Even though he scored both my goals. Oh, my God, Trap made 14 saves. He was he was unbelievable. To 14 track, okay. saves. Look <laughs> at where them shots are from. Jesus Christ. Holy moly. Let me know when you've mixed your team around, Mr. Oaklefish. You in the mud? You there? I'm here, I'm here. You was mixing? Okay. <clears throat> Are you um, ready? No, not yet. So okay. you get one discard, don't you? Just one, mate, yeah. <clears throat> what are you feeling? Um, I mean, I feel it. I'm, I'm more, I'm more upset about how I played there. To be honest with you, um, it wasn't very good at all. It wasn't very good at all, and you didn't really have that much of a defense. Maldini no. was Maldini was. It was very just Maldini good. and Casemiro, yeah. But they were very good. Um, I think Klosterman and my other guy did pretty well, to be fair. But that it's. <laughs> Dallet was almost like not having a right back, and uh, Ospina was also like almost well, basically. Wasn't he didn't have a left back, yeah. No. Um, I think he got okay, one picked up. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. I'm gonna go. Right centre mid. Okay. You got Lazari. So I can <sighs> take that. That's annoying. Okay. Fair. Fair. Oh, so this got it. Do whatever you want, mate. Yeah, it's a pretty good job. I scored that goal in that last minute. Otherwise, I probably would have been discarding Harry if, Kane. If you dis if you give yours a little jumble round, can we see what I would have got? We can do. Let me just hop out of the game. Yeah, I got absolutely peppered there. Second half was non-existent from me. I, I think the thing is, I need to basically have to do your goals or your your goal with Kane. You basically ran down the, the byline, got to the byline, and that's why I got mine. I just need to start doing that because... I'm just not having any success. Go on, if Trap could have made 15 saves instead of 14, and it was one all, what would you have gone for? <laughs> Trap's sick, mate. You 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 laughed at him, but he's quality. Um, and you have the. I would have gone for your left centre mid. 
That's in form Bruno Fernandes, so. Wouldn't have been That's the end of the world. Big. Although he's like 300k. Big, At least it's not yeah. Harry Kane, which is probably what it would have been if it was like Ninja Jack. In fact, he's 400k. Where was, That's a where lot of he? coins. I put Kane right centre mid. Oh, really? Okay, fair enough. After picking it from you, I didn't know if that was a wise decision. Maybe that's not how it would have played out, but it didn't play out that way at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video because, I mean, I was stressing, but we've got away with it. We've tried okay, and he actually seems very, very good. Although I'm not sure whether I'd spend 1.3 million coins on him. That is a bit outrageous. But the video was about Bernardo Silva. It did seem pretty good. He's, of course, now a camp. That was day number 19 of the Squabble Show Nav Encounter. Go and check out day number 20 over on Oakland Fish's channel. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys soon for day 21. See ya.